And from what's written here, we can at le- learn at least four important lessons about God working in the world and about people working for God. Number one is this, is that God calls people to His work. Typically, through what seems like ordinary, everyday events, the Lord moves people to, to want to do the things necessary to accomplish His purposes in the world. God calls people to His work. I think the Bible gives us a number of things that we can look for, and one of those things comes in the next few verses, and that's our second lesson about working for God is this, is that God's workers like accountability. That's one of the ways in which you can recognize somebody who's a servant of God rather than a servant of themselves. When people are confident that what they are doing is in service to the Lord, they have no problem with others checking up on them. God's workers like accountability. Here's the third lesson is that the faithfulness of God's workers is affirmed in the church. It is right and good to examine believers before they are entrusted with ministry in the church. And anyone who is truly serving the Lord will be happy for those examinations. The faithfulness of God's workers is affirmed in the church. From what we've heard so far, we might get the impression that somebody can sit on the sidelines and do nothing in working for the Lord. And the case is that that, the fact is, is that that is far from the truth. Instead, we learn here in verse 24 that believers demonstrate their faith by participating in God's work. We rightly say all the time that salvation happens by faith alone and not works. But it is equally right to say that true saving faith produces works. When we do things that the Lord wants us to do, we are showing that our faith is real. Believers demonstrate their faith by participating in God's work. 